is our new American moment. There has never been a better time to start living the American dream. So to every citizen watching at home tonight, no matter where you've been or where you've come from, this is your time. If you work hard, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in America, then you can dream anything. You can be anything. And together, we can achieve absolutely anything. Since this is the last speech that I will give as president, president, I think it's fitting to leave one final thought, an observation about a country which, a country which I love. It was stated best in a letter I received not long ago. A man wrote me and said, you can go to live in France, but you cannot become a Frenchman. You can go to live in Germany or Turkey or Japan, but you cannot become a German, a Turk, or Japanese. But anyone from any corner of the earth can come to live in America and become an American. We're going to build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. illegal immigration in the state of Florida. We ban sanctuary cities in our state. Over the last several months, we have all witnessed the inhumane and heartbreaking separation of immigrant children from their families by this administration. I thought I was going to help these children in loving homes. Instead, I discovered that children are being trafficked through a sophisticated network it begins with recruiting in home country, smuggling to the U.S. border. Do you believe that constitutional rights of parents, specifically fundamental due process rights, are implicated in such family separation? One of the Republican presidential candidates is in Orange County tonight speaking out about the San Bernardino massacre. Dr. Ben Carson outlined a series. you got to assure the American people that you're not blind you're looking at this situation and that you recognize that this is terrorist activity. A dire economic outlook from the man in charge of one of America's big banks. If I was out there, I'd be very cautious. Jamie Dimon, CEO at J.P. Morgan Chase, is warning a recession is likely in six to nine months. It could be another easy 20%. And, uh, I, you know, I think, like, the next 20% will be much more painful than the first. Uh, the news from Wall Street has shaken the American people's faith in our economy. The situation with Lehman Brothers and other financial institutions is the latest in a wave of crises that have generated enormous uncertainty about the future of our financial markets. This is serious. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac effectively taken over by the government. We interrupt this program to bring you an emergency announcement. Please stand by for further information. We interrupt this program to bring you an emergency announcement. Please stand by for further information. Korea launched two more nuclear-capable missiles toward Japan overnight. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome His Excellency Joseph R. Biden, Jr., President of the United States of America. COVID-19. War chosen by one man, to be very blunt. A prominent member of the United Nations Security Council invaded its neighbor attempted to erase a sovereign state from the map. Russia has shamelessly violated the core tenets of the United Nations Charter. No more important than the clear prohibition against countries taking the territory of their neighbor by force. Again, just today, President Putin has made overt nuclear threats against Europe reckless disregard for the responsibilities of the non-proliferation regime. So the American dream is back. We're going to create an environment for small business like 
we haven't had in many, many decades.